Well, what does a, a gun, a deck of playing cards, a highly redacted email, and a bottle of beer have in common? <laughs> well, stick around and we're going to talk about it. Hi, George here, and welcome to Tales from Target Suite, where I'll share my perspective on guns and shooting, and we'll spend some time at the range. And every now and then, we'll reconvene out in my shop back in Houston, or here at the farm in Louisiana, where I'll build some fun projects, and we'll share an adventure or two that'll make even a grown man smile. You know, about a year ago, I started thinking about the possibility of, of establishing a new world record, and so I reached out to the world's largest keeper of all things world records and contacted them via letter and requested a new category for world record. And well, it took about three months. They said it would. And this uh, keeper of all things world record, by the way, um, responded and here's their letter. This is the highly redacted letter. And I'm gonna kind of just go through the highlights, but it's from Redacted World Records application update to George Redacted. Thanks for sending us the details of your proposed record attempt for most playing cards split in two with a single 20, uh, 45 caliber or smaller bullet. Unfortunately, after thoroughly reviewing your application with members of our research team, we are afraid to say that we cannot accept your proposal as a Redacted World Records title. We certainly do not underestimate your proposal. We think that it is a little too specialized for a body of reference as general as redacted world records. Now, this is the same world redacted world records folks that have such things as how many soda straws can you stick in your mouth? And, um, you know, go, it just goes on from there. But once again, and th there's some stuff I'll skip, and it says, once again, thank you for contacting, re contacting redacted world records. Well, I tell you what, um, I had done a lot of research and I could not find anything about splitting playing cards, multiple playing cards, when they're stacked edge to edge in a line. And I thought that would really be a cool, um, a cool video to make. And so that's what pr prompted the uh, reach out to Redacted World Records. But I couldn't find anything. And, uh, and when those folks rejected my application, they didn't reject it because there's already some, um, some world, world records out there. Uh, now they just did it because it didn't suit their fancy for one reason or another. And so, you know, I just take it to mean that there isn't a world record for how many playing cards you can split when they're lined up edge to edge and uh, with, a cal with a 45 or caliber or smaller bullet at a distance of 45 feet or longer. And so I've got a fixture set up down there. We're going to load it full of cards. Uh, well, not full because, <laughs> because believe me, well, I'll tell you what, let's go down there and take a look at the fixture, and then you'll understand uh, kind of where I've been. Okay, in full disclosure, this is actually day two, because we tried this yesterday. And um, and if you just check down here, you can see the carnage from yesterday's attempt. And I've already cleaned up some of it. But we've got a new test fixture, because the fixture yesterday was a little bit... And I'm going to give you guys some some uh, some hints if you pay attention and you want to try to beat this world record but we've got a new fixture it's a little more stable a little more rigid it's faster to reload because believe me splitting cards is harder than you think splitting a number of cards like this is harder than you think and so uh, so we've upgraded our fixture and now I think it's time to see if we can establish a, a world record, a target suite world record for most cards split with a single bullet, 45 caliber or smaller, when the cards are lined up edge to edge. And the first card is at least 45 feet from the muzzle of your rifle or pistol for that matter. But let's get shooting and, and see if I can do better than yesterday. Well, I guess it's I guess it's appropriate. If you're going to set a world record, you need to uh, let folks know what you've got. And so we're using the Marlin Model 1894. This is my 1979 vintage JM Marlin 44 Magnum. And so that's how we're going to send rounds down range. I've got, uh, I've got some hand loads that I put together. Starline brass. 
and uh, the bullets that we are topped with are the Montana Bullet Works 300 grain wide flat nose gas check bullets. And we've done a couple of videos with, or a video with this, uh, with that bullet already. So um, I'm going to load one round at a time, and I'm assuming we're going to have to take multiple shots, and I'm not going to uh, break in between each one. And be thinking about breaking this record, if you will. First shot, day, day two. <laughs> Second shot. Well, <laughs> um, we're getting close, but just no cigar. I think there were nine cards split there, and then 10, 11, 12 were, were torn. And uh, so it was the closest we got to getting all the way through, but we're not going to give up yet. Um, I'll take you down there and we'll take a look, but yep, I, fi I finally got them all. And I'm going to guess, uh, I'm going to guess that was, um, that was pushing 50 tries. Now, if you've got a tack driving lever action rifle, maybe, it, maybe it won't take you as long, but, uh, uh, but for me, it was, it was a little bit tough. So let's go look at the damage. <laughs> 
Okay, there it is. There's um, one card, two cards, three cards, four cards, five cards, six cards, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now, let me see if I can pick up all the pieces. There's the two of clubs. <laughs> Well, there it is. So we've got the uh, two of clubs, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king, ace. And so we split an entire suit of cards here for the, uh, the first ever target suite world record for most playing cards split when they're lined up edge to edge. And I'm going to put more uh, details in the description about the uh, about the uh, world record qualification. And if you guys want to jump in and, and have some fun like, uh, like I did, uh, then, then by all means, it is, a, it is a hoot. Man, it's been fun. And uh, you know what? I'll see you guys in the next video. Well, <laughs> there is more to the story. It seems that since I, uh, after I finished editing that video, I, uh, I was going back and looking, marveling at the GoPro footage, the close-up footage of the cards being split. And I noticed an anomaly <laughs> in the record split. Something was definitely wrong with that picture. It's funny, there was a large bass chasing this little guy when, when uh, he got up close to the bank. But there was something wrong with that picture. And so I'm going to replay the, uh, the last three shots of the uh, GoPro, GoPro footage. And I'll put some uh, comments in there and uh, you'll, see, <laughs> you'll see what I'm talking about.